Fine. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam, uh, Aki. Um, I've got, a, I've called my name Samir. I'm from Ilford. Um, I've got a question about uh, my brother-in-law who doesn't let my sister see her mum uh, for no good reason. Uh, my sister deep down does want to see her mum, but for some reason, obviously, I'm not there, being her brother. Um, my brother-in-law doesn't let uh, my sister see uh, her mum. So I was wondering if that was obviously un-Islamic or if it was obviously, if, it, if the man does have the power to do that, I don't know. Okay, I'll answer your question, inshallah. Okay, thank you. First of all, it is the husband's right that his wife obeys him as long as he does not instruct her to sin. This is Allah's given right to the husband. Now, this might be debatable in the sense that not every husband is a proper husband. He might be a wrongdoer. He might be harsh and hard and illogical. However, the boat cannot sail except with one captain. And that is why Allah gave the right to the husband to control and steer the boat to safety. So the wife is not allowed to admit anyone that he does not want or permit to his house and she is not allowed to go anywhere where he does not approve of it or permits her to do so. Now having said that, what about her mother, her father, her parents? She is instructed to connect to them and to obey them. This is true. But if the husband does not allow her to go, she must adhere and obey him. She would not be sinful for not doing this. He would. Allah the Almighty will hold him accountable on the day of judgment if he does not have the legitimate reason for that. And in 90% of the cases, the husband does not have the legitimate reason. In 10%, yes, he claims, and he might be right, that whenever his wife goes to her parents' house, she comes with a different face. She's nagging, she's complaining, she's demanding because her parents or her uh, um, siblings would keep on pressuring her to demand more and more and more. And by this, they are destroying her marriage. So the husband says, I have only one option out of the two. Either I divorce her or I tell her, do not go to your parents, except maybe once a month. And when he does this, his life go, goes on nicely, but with a little disturbances here and there because the woman wants to see her parents and it's his, her right. But then the, 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 the husband is you know, caught between a rock and a hard place. So in these 10%, he's right. But in the 90%, he's wrong. Yet the wife is requested to obey him. And the, her family are also requested to support her in obeying her husband so that the marriage would be intact. And Allah Azza wa knows best.